company that's been in Memphis for a very long time. They were a separate entity for a long time and they disbanded. So Bontipa is now coming back together and they're really, their home base for now is here at the Ballet Ensemble. And we get the benefit of, we've got the production and the ballet, he has the talent and the technique and the African discipline that we don't have. And so we share and in between the kids get the benefit of all of it. Nice marriage. It's a very nice marriage. We're married. <laughs> Um, Nut Remix is for the Christmas holiday, of course. It's a, it's a spin on the original Nutcracker. Hence the name, Nut Remix. It has a very Memphis feel to play to Memphis and kind of draw in an audience that's here. But in that, it also gives a very rich and diverse multicultural experience. The Nut Remix, we're actually using like flamenco and, you know, Spanish dances and you know, staying true to the, and honoring those uh, cultures and traditions, you know, and, you know, giving it a very real multicultural experience, you know. Nut Remix is a, is a very uh, creative process every year because it changes. And it kind of changes for the better. Like, every time it gets better and better. And that's because they take from the audience and apply it. This is that one show uh, out of the year um, that they, that we can take feedback and directly apply it. You know, like, what can we do different? What can we do better? People like this and people like that. And it kind of just gives something for everybody. You know, everybody wants to see a good show in the holidays. You know? you know what? Oh my goodness, these demonic dolls, what's happened? What is <laughs> and then that's when Jean comes on there. We might as well keep that part where Jean comes on and does that for her age pace. Um, the dolls could steal the pie card. They have so many ideas that they're like choreographing the whole thing. I haven't done any of it. Oh, between them and Jean, they've done it all. She's like, okay, this is <laughs> that re 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 me. <laughs> Pretty much close to all the choreography changes. Um, because that's depending on um, who's here. Uh, and what can everyone bring to the table? Me being the main character, I'm not as technically sound as most of the dancers here, but I'm learning. But I also have a great hip hop background. So I could bring yet urban aspect to the character of the Nutcracker. So it changes and it varies just depending on what's gonna work. In hip hop, we don't do lifts. <laughs> I'm learning, and uh, but we're working on it. This is my first time partnering with uh, in in ballet, and actually, it's just my it's my partner's first time partnering as well. So we're both learning together, and it's, it's gonna be a good show. This is um, I think this is creative movement going on right now in the the uh, Pink Studio. What's going on? This is Miss Mandy. Fellow company member, good friend, and um, the creative movement teacher. Uh, this creative movement class is uh, where most of the younger students uh, enter through the school and everything. It's where they start. Everybody say hi. Hi. <laughs> they work in just creative movements, just moving around and stuff until they can actually do ballet. So, I believe this is intermediate ballet, and it's actually taught by the by the boss, Miss Katie herself, and. Um, so we're just gonna go in here and say hey. And back, two, three. With the arm now, two, three, close, out, back, out, close. Yeah, this is intermediate ballet. Um, these kids are a little older, pre-teens mostly. Um, I mean, we do have older kids in intermediate that start later. This is right before advanced and advanced ballet, that's when they started actually put them in shows that we perform and things like that. But um, yeah, this is taught by Katie. And she's an amazing teacher, like she is incredible. So you can kind of see like the process and the, the steps, the levels before actual company members. This is the 
green, we call it the green studio, but it's the big studio, the main studio that we always use. And uh, uh, this is Brandon. He's a fellow company member and good friend and uh, amazing dancer and technician. Yes, he is. This is my third year here. It's very exciting, and we're doing Chinese for Nutcracker right now. Um, those two are in it. Don't you dare! I hate you on TV. Here's Melissa. She's a fellow company member and friend and amazing dancer. Like, I, I love watching Melissa dance. Like, I've never told her that. I started with Katie when I was 14. Um, so I've been with her since the beginning before there was even new ballet. It's been about eight years. I mean, we do so many yeah. different things yeah. here. I'd say contemporary ballet is my favorite. Do you hide? Uh-oh. He has some hiding in the back This here. is Mr. Kevin Thomas. He's our ballet master and um, artistic coordinator. It's great to, for me to get to teach students, young adults like Jimmy. Once I see there's some improvement or see the dedication, you know, it's just wonderful. You know, it makes me feel good about what I do. I never really realized it as a real profession or career because I was never exposed to that. I never knew that was a possibility. To be honest with you, half of me didn't want to believe it. I did want to stay at home and dance hip hop all the time. And I even wanted to stay at home and teach myself ballet. Or, you know, or try to, anyway. You just, you can't deny it. When you see great dancers around you, I could be that much more, you know, if I just learn how to not limit myself to my comfort zone. I'm beginning to feel like just movement is my comfort dance it, in general, not just hip hop. Mainly, my mother and Michael Jackson were key influences in, in, in dancing. And, and of course there are a couple people, peers even, that, I'm, that I've met along the road that have greatly influenced me. Like, you just have no idea, it's just like changed my life.